parameter. It rewrote everything from that point. Okay, in order to work with Spring Boot JDBC module, we need to add these two dependencies. Spring Boot Starter JDBC and then MySQL Connector. Ye do ko use karna okay, fine. So chalo, let's use the dependencies first. Okay, next control shift O form dot symbol. Okay, all this is fine. So we know all these dependencies. Lombok we added, dev tool dependencies we added, JSON library for conversion we added. Yesterday we added model mapper. Now today we are adding these two dependencies. MySQL and Spring Boot Startup JDBC. Okay. Okay, now try to observe something. Abhi I have not saved it. Only added it in the code. MySQL ka dependency is there. Spring Boot Starter JDBC dependency is there. Okay, that's it. We did only one modification. Now I am saving the code. Okay, it's trying to build, download something. And now it is trying to start. Okay. Okay. Tomcat started on server 808. But whenever we test this dependency, better to freshly start. Okay. So I will go here. Okay. Right click. Refresh. Project clean. Clean. Okay. Right click. Run as Spring Boot. Okay, clean package. Whenever you touch form.xml, better to do this because while it is already running, sometimes maybe it might not even pick the classes properly. So form.xml for a seriously low change is done there because dependency management happens there. Okay, now that some error skin failed to load application context, data configuration failed to determine suitable driver class. Just see that is the reason while it was running, we were not able to see these errors. But only by adding the jar files dependencies, Spring Boot is now not working. Okay. Blender, blender, they need to go. While we are trying to just build the system, read the main reason here. All these things will happen. Something went wrong. Now we need to see we added only one jar dependency. Spring is not working. What exactly is wrong? Now look at what is happening here. What it says. Failed to configure data source URL attribute is not specified. So it is looking for some URL attribute in our system. Because we have not specified it, it is failing. No embedded data. Okay, the way embedded Tomcat is there. Like this with Spring Boot, we can give some embedded database also. But it was also not available. Nothing but just by adding these two dependencies. Spring Boot system is reading which database I should try to connect to without needing any other additional configuration. That is what is Spring Boot ka enable auto configuration. Remember, in the initial week one, week two, while we were talking about Spring Boot, there also we added only one class, Google ka dependency we added, and JSON library was just created like that. We did not configure it also as a bean. Now Spring is trying to do the same for database related assets, power of Spring Boot. 
spring cannot do this spring boot is able to do that it is because of enable auto configuration okay so what is happening enable auto configuration this annotation which is written for spring boot system internally as soon as any jar dependency is added it tries to create spring beans and give wherever required so because you have added jdbc jars it is trying to create objects of database needed to talk to db automatically ho raha while it is trying to create objects it's looking for db for db url port username password all those details since it's not able to find so system is crashing hamra aise ho raha just by adding the jar spring boot is like okay to database ke sath bhai ko kaam karna hai okay let me quickly do it it is trying to create objects of jdbc template named parameter jdbc template these are some of the objects along with it multiple other also it is trying to do but when we added the jar it is trying to create objects of these two things and put it inside spring container this is what is all happening because of spring boot spring mein ye sab nahi hoga spring mein it will still wait for you ke hey configure then only i will try to load spring boot mein additional intelligence is there it is trying to load it and we have not configured that is where it is failing guys are we clear this is enable auto configuration khud se kar lo enable it automatically so we have not applied it so now we have to give the configuration then only spring boot will be able to create maybe the objects by itself chalo let's do it okay how to do configuration chat gpt ne bata diya but understanding how these things work that is what we are trying to do today. okay chalo let's continue nice nice guys chalo let's move forward so property kaise lagana it is saying url is missing so now we need to be like okay url chahiye fine we can go here it has given already how to do it this is what it is we just need to set it up in our system that's it it is actually looking for these parameters by default because it is not able to find so the system is crashing we will take these parameters and we will configure it in the system go oh, here yeah. okay again environment specific hota hai right now we are doing testing in local so i will add it in local control shift r local choose our project currently we configured this old value for testing now i will add new wala you need to make sure that the right database and all is pointed here based upon your system so i will be doing those changes okay where is our db our db is here you set up your db so i will replace this the url itself is guys containing the details jdbc colon mysql destination of our database what port it is running and what database you want to connect to payments is our database where is it configured we, while creating we configured it like this create database payments yahan pe so ye yahan se aata hai and that is configured somehow here like this very good here next comes with what username and password should spring boot application connect with it we created additional user for that also where the create user username is like this password is like this something password is like this dekho today we are saving the password in the property file because we are testing it in reality this will also be saved outside you will not put the passwords in bit bucket or your code because anybody can take it right very risky so passwords we will keep somewhere else 
AWS services के लिए secret manager there we have to store password sensitive data AWS secret manager property file may never have any sensitive data developer should not be able to even copy anything you should be very careful okay so fine but yeah some things so we did this we did this and now we are trying to do this driver okay this is the driver class for uh, our MySQL for stab in JDBC, you would have learned we need a driver class to establish a DB connection. That is what this is. Okay, fine. Shall save this? Save everything. Whopper say we will compile it and build it once. Right click. Okay. Build clean package. Run. Let's see now what happens. We gave some properties earlier. It was not finding it. Now we gave it. Let's see what happens. Or local application iPhone local may be did. The spring profile is local. When we as the default profile, we discussed it in earlier days. We did not add it in dev and other places. Okay, let's see. Super. So chal gaya. So it was able to run it. That is clear. Yes, it's just so intelligent, right? Trying to create objects by itself, trying to read our property files, not able to find saying ke, why Gadward Ogai code in it. It's saving so much time. Now we gave it, it is now taking forward. And so that's where Spring Boot is becoming more and more popular. It is trying to do a lot of things by themselves. We don't have to even write code to do all these things. Automatically is happening. So Spring Boot is getting more popular. Enable auto configuration. Okay, fine, chalo. Next. Okay, fine. Let's start the service now. Right click. Run as this clean spring boot colon run go. Abhi, let's bring the service up. We did not write any DB logic so far. So slowly we are getting there. Test code a little, test a little. That's what we are doing. <laughs> code a little, test a little. Okay, Tomcat started on 8082. So far, so good. Now, service is up, compilation, everything. Pointing properly to this database with credentials, everything is all good. Fine. 